Hello, everyone. What are you doing with all that money? And you may say, Kevin, it is none of your business. It is my money. I can do whatever I like with my own money. Excuse me. Are you saving up all that money for the grave? Like, Kevin, you know, when I die, I want them to fill up my casket with all my money so I can take it with me in death. What are you doing with all that money? Kevin, I want 80 pairs of Jordans. I want 80 pairs of clothes. <laughs> I want all this stuff I don't really need, but I am getting it so that it will show my status to other people. So I am really just wasting money, but... It is my own money and I can do what I want with it. What are you doing with your money? I saw some confirmation. Maybe on another video and somewhere else. Maybe more than one confirmation in one week. And it's pretty much what I teach. I believe we are on this earth. Oh, excuse me. I believe we are on this earth as a test. Not saying we are going to test highly in every category. I think some people believe this life, some people may believe there is a God, but I don't think some people understand that this life is a test. A test to see how you perform in the situation you are in. I truly believe so. Based upon how you perform, I believe it will determine whether you go to hell or heaven. If you go to heaven, I believe what you do on this earth, yes, we will reap what we sow on this earth, but I also believe we will be rewarded in heaven as well. So are you trying to, please listen to what I am saying, are you trying to build your kingdom on this earth or in heaven? I believe the Bible says, To build your, I mean, I have the scriptures right, but in, in a sense, to build where what you do won't fade away, won't decay, won't rust, won't go to not. To build in the eternal, as in, I believe what we do here counts on the other side. Please listen to what I am saying. Even if you get the mansion, even if you get the Mercedes Benz or the Rolls Royce or the Maserati, even if you get the 20 cars, you have to leave everything behind. 
everything you have is going to be destroyed. <clears throat> I have been going through my room, in this room, placing some stuff I don't really use in a bag where I am going to give it out for free. I have some external hard drives that I am going to give away for free. And you may say, Kevin, why are you doing it for free? You know, you can sell those things. And sometimes I do sell some things, but there is nothing wrong with giving things away for free because one easy concept, I hope it is easy to understand, you are going to reap what you sow. I am so used to, to an extent, giving, 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 giving. So when someone gives to me, sometimes I get really, really shocked. Even if it is something really small, like I'm like, like really? Like, thank you. We are going to many, much of the time, I would say, I am shocked. We are going to reap what we sow. What I have in my room, I have my laptop, I have my desktop, I have, you know, some boots and stuff like that. I can't bring any of these things with me. I can't. Why have your house, your room, so cluttered with stuff you don't even use when there are people who need shoes, who need clothes, who need this, who need that. As if you are going to take everything with you when you die. Please listen to what I am saying. You can't take nothing when you die. I believe what you can take is your record of how you performed on this earth. So focus on that. Focus on the things of the Bible because that is going to follow you in your evil deeds if you choose to go against God, I believe. I believe these things are going to follow you in the next realm. So what are you doing with your money? I am going to tell you something and what I have been saying, I am not telling you these things about myself for glory, for fame. I don't want that for my reward. I want God's reward. I believe the Bible say, you know, to keep your arms in secret, you know, so or something like that, I believe. Anyways. I do something for some people every month, every month. Not that I am trying to tell you this to make you feel so great about me. I don't care about that. I am telling you this because I am leading by example. I do some things for some people every month. I could take that money and invest it into a better car or i could do probably so much with that money that i have been giving for some years now i could i think i missed maybe some months but mostly every month almost for years i am doing it for god if there was no God, there is no way I would be helping those people. No way. No way. But I know no one is going to bury me in my own money. Okay, you die with $80,000. You may say, well, I am going to pass it to my children, which is not wrong which it is not wrong to do that. But some people may not even have a will 
and they may die with so much money as if the money is going to help them when they die. Pass that stuff along in this world. And if you read the Bible, I believe how the world should be everyone helping each other. You may have this and I may have that. Another person may have another thing. Hey, Kevin, I have too much of this. Let me give you this. Then I would probably be like, hey, I have too much of that. So let me give you this over here. So everyone helping each other, everyone loving each other, everyone pretty much going back and forth, doing stuff for our fellow men, fellow women as well too, everyone helping each other, that is the way it should be. It shouldn't be this selfishness to where this is mine's over here and another person is like, this is mine's like everybody in their separate location. I don't think it should be that way. I don't think it was meant to be that way. No. See, the world will tell you, get what you can, be selfish, care about yourself, blah, 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 blah. It's not supposed to be that way. You have to, can I say a conform or transform? Maybe uh, change your thinking from the world's point of view and change it to God's point of view. And you may say, why should I give to someone if they aren't going to give to me? Well, if you read the Bible, that is how <laughs> it may be at times. Just because that person won't give to me, I know if I continue to do what is right, someone is going to give to me, which they do. I have been helping some people for some years now, some people, and people are constantly helping me, constantly. I am being helped so much. There is a woman that helped me now. Indirectly. Ah, helps me now. Let me say it like that. Helps me now. So much. So much. So, let me say some names. Not saying these people's names are this, but let me say some random names. Okay, I gave to Patrick, I gave to Diane, I gave to uh, Jimmy, I gave to Crystal, and those people have not given me anything. Even though I am being held by Tommy and and Joe, and what is another random name? Um, Stuart, <laughs> Stuart, um, <laughs> Thomas. You know, I am being helped even though those people would never help me or pay me back. I hope this is making sense to you. If you go by what the Bible say, and if the Bible say, hey, if you do this, you will get that. <laughs> Let me do it, right? Let me at least test it, right? I know sometimes we may get in our feelings and say, we ain't gonna do nothing for this person, but that may not be right in every case. So what are you doing with your money? Saving for the apocalypse? I truly believe, I think there are many people, well, let me not get into that. Let me stop right here. May God bless you.